what's up y'all good morning rather it's 803 i'm on my way to um my first lymphatic massage post-op appointment <clears throat> like i said yesterday pain is very minimum i'm still like still at a three i'll be in up every two hours pain <clears throat> and um i'm <clears throat> you know clearing my throat because of the tube that they had in my throat it's just i'm just clearing it doesn't hurt it's not painful at all um <clears throat> and um i'm moving around very well um a lot of drainage you know leakage so yeah like i'm doing good i'm eating no nausea no <clears throat> No headaches, no vomiting. Everything was smooth selling. It's these damn massages I'm scared of. Hopefully they go well. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to uh, film when I'm in there. But yeah, everything is going well. <clears throat> and, um,. I'm gonna keep y'all updated like a couple, couple weeks, so you know, so y'all can start seeing my, uh, you know, my body results better because I'm swollen. You know, I'm still swollen. I got a lot of fluid build up, so I'm ready to get this drained out. I'll see y'all when I get there. Hey guys, I'm back from pre-op. Y'all see, I've changed my uh, dress. They wouldn't let me film in there, so I just had to y'all updated on what was going on what went on in, in there so i get in there <clears throat> get called right in i waited like 15 minutes and um they start on your back for the lymphatic massages they tell you to lay down and they massage it with like some warm coconut or cocoa cocoa butter warm it was soothing um I got all the, all the drink, I mean, all the liquid out of me. Then they turned me on, um, they told me to stand on my, uh, my knees. I stand, I stood on my knees and she was just draining me. It was a little bit uncomfortable, but it wasn't nothing like intense that you can't bear. Like it didn't make me jump off the table, nothing like that. Um, it was, it was bearable. And, um, she told me to stay out of my faha for about like four hours. So that's when I had changed into um, this dress right here so my faha can get washed. So right now I just have like a adult brief on because I'm draining a lot. And um, that was pretty much it. Oh, then she told me to follow up with my doctor, Anthony Hassan. Um, I didn't have any lipo burns. Uh, no bruising far as the lipo, but I mean, you know, the liposuction, but no initial bruising far as like lipo burns and skin irritations and none of that. <clears throat> Pain level still minimum. See, I'm walking around, have a little bruise right there from him because he goes up in there. Still minimum. I have four more massages. I go every day. So tomorrow, I have one a day. I go every day until my five massages is up. And you can't wear no foams or no um, boards until five days later. So after your first massage, five days later after that, you can't wear no foams or no boards. This is just Dr. Hassan's um, rules. I don't know about any other doctors that... Um, you know how they what they say or what they what they want you to do but how doctor assign no phones five days later or no boards don't change the faha keep the same faha whether you get small or not well you're going to get small but do not change it for like two weeks because that will cause burns and irritation to the skin because the skin is rubbing and it's fr is a fragile and <clears throat> he said no smaller fahas keep the same garment you have 
for two weeks, then switch them over. You're gonna you're gonna continue on getting small anyway, so you can still compress, but you can compress with the one you have, the uh, first one you have. But um, like I said, if you listen to them, you won't have nothing to worry about. Have anything to worry about? Um, do what he say do, and um, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's, it is what you eat before you go to your surgery. You know, get on a strict, clean, healthy, nutritionist diet. If you got to lose weight, lose weight. Drink lots of water. Listen, I think I have minimum pain because I was just eating a lot of vegetables, leafy, leafy vegetables. I didn't have, I didn't even have sodas. I didn't even have juices, nothing. Straight water, 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 vegetables, fruit, nuts, eggs. And that was like for 40 days. He said, you are what you eat. And he expressed that with me. He was like, you know, if you do what I say, eat healthy, you'll be fine. You can't be doing all that stuff and then, you know, when your surgery about to happen, you, you just quit. No, you can't do that weeks after. You have to do that at least a month. I did 40 days because I wanted to be like... I wanted to be right. And I think, like I said, I think that's why my pain level was a three. It's a three. And first day, I was walking. Like, they couldn't believe it. Like, I was walking. Um, I was going to walk to the car because I wasn't no pain. It was like, no, mommy, sit in the wheelchair, sit in the wheelchair. And I was just like, you know, walking helps. Keep walking. Keep walking. I walk every two hours. I didn't get no sleep last night because every two hours I was up walking. And it helps. I took my first shower today. No, I didn't pass out. I got a little tiny bit lightheaded, but it wasn't nothing extreme. It was just like, okay, let me just get, hurry up and get out the shower because I've been in there too long. Because I had I, I had the water on hot, and I, it was feeling good on my skin, so that's why you know I sat in there. But nothing too extreme. When they took my file off my garment, I wasn't dizzy or nothing. I didn't pass out. They didn't have to give me no alcohol under my nose. Um, everything was, was good. My skin is still a little tight. It's still numb on some sides. And, um, I don't have a file on her. Like I told you, I was going to get washed. And, um, all I had to do, like, my pain meds, I didn't have to use the Percocets. I just used Tylenol muscle and pain. That's it. That's all I use. Tylenol muscle and pain. That's what I've been using. And I've only been taking one. This right here, let me show y'all. Right here. That's it. I took one yesterday. I took one before my massage. And I got out of my, my um massage. I got out of there about, when I get like 10, 10 o'clock. And I just took one, you know, because I feel my body getting stiff. Because, you know, you know, you laying down, getting up, peeing, walking around. Your body do get stiff, but when you're walking, it definitely helps. But yeah, like I said, listen to the doctor. Listen to the doctor. All right? So um, I'm going to continue my little stroll, my walk. Cause this is what I've been eating. I had some salad. I'm still eating on it. Some pineapple chunks. And um, this clam chowder. And I've been doing good drinking my pineapple juice. And um, yeah. But I feel good. I just keep y'all updated. Like I said, this is day two. Post op. Day two. Okay? So if I can do it, you can do it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Comment down below if you want to ask me any more questions or if y'all want to see anything else. Okay? Peace. What's up, guys? It's me again. Still in Miami. But. This is my last day. We are leaving. Yes, I am seven days post-op. I had my surgery on May 18th. It's May the 25th as I speak. But when you get this video, it's going to be later. But recovery wasn't bad, like I said in my previous videos. Um, the pain was from like a one to five. Um, 
sleeping was a little stiff. Um, keep up on your meds, but it wasn't excruciating, excruciating pain. It was bearable. Um, like the first day I was walking, second day I was walking, third day. Um, the massages, that's a different story. The massages can be a little painful because you're tender, you just had surgery, so you're just coming out. And, um, yeah, so you better take some meds before you do those lymphatic massages, but it gets better over time. I had five massages, and, um, it was, it was doable. Like I said, the first day, it was rough. Second day was rough, and then by the third day, it started getting a little better. Um, I'm not going to reveal my whole body until I start healing better. So probably in like in another week, I reveal um, my body. I think y'all seen my body in my faha when I first came out of surgery. But it get, as time goes on, the healing shrinks. I mean, the um, fluid sh um, leaves out of your body. The swelling goes down, and you get um, you get your waist gets smaller. And when you're eating good fat, your butt protrudes. So. It's, you know, so I want to give y'all, you know, I'm going to keep up. I'm going to keep up, you know, I'm going to update with y'all like one month post-op, two month post-op, three, and et cetera. But it really takes about six months to a year for your body to completely heal. Um, I'm in my faja right now with my skirt on, and we got to go headed to the airport. My mom, she eating chocolate. Like she been doing the whole time we were down here. <laughs> oh, she, no, she eating a popsicle right now. That's she got. She got a healthy snack today. But we packed. We packed up. My husband is packing. My son, he packed. Everybody packed. We ready to go. We left all this stuff. Whoever going to clean up, they going to have. Well, anything that's, that's compact, that's not touched, you know they're going to take this stuff home. We left all this food. We're we leaving all this food, but you know they're going to take the noodle. All they're going to do is wipe it down. But I hope it's somebody that, you know, deserve it and needs it. You know, because a lot of stuff is not even open. A lot of stuff is not even open. You know? Then we got stuff in the refrigerator. We got, we got butter and stuff that's not even open. Look at that. Everything. Even in the freezer. Look at that. We still have stuff. Look, we still have chicken. It's not even in touch. So somebody going to have a good old time in here. I can't even pick this darn butter up. Let me try to pick this butter up. Got it. Yeah, so um I see y'all when we get to the airport and I'll show y'all how I'm sitting in the seat in the airport. And yeah, so I see y'all when I see y'all. <laughs>
my seatbelt over top. But I had um, already tested out and it was pretty comfortable. I don't know how it's going to be when I'm, um, you know, as we're traveling. But it's a full flight. Back and people walking past hitting my ass. But I gotta stay from in the house. So this is what we're gonna be going for the next. Well, I'm not gonna be standing up. I'm gonna be setting my ass down. But I keep y'all posted. guys this is a few days later after the plane ride my camera had died on the plane so <clears throat> i waited a few days just to update you guys on what happened on the plane and then i'm gonna show y'all how i was sitting and flying back and um you know so y'all can see how things went down it wasn't bad at all it wasn't i just had to um you know i walked around um as you've seen in the video walked around a little bit sat down a little bit my flight was about two hours so really wasn't bad um i sat on my uh my butt pillow which was only required to sit 15 minutes and you get up i stood for about i was just on like standing sitting walking standing sitting walking in that in that sense and um it did me fine you know i was on a huge plane so therefore i had more room you know to walk around went to the bathroom and by the time i did all that it was time to come home i mean we was landing so like i said if you if you're getting a bbl don't be discouraged about flying because you just have to move you have to be mobile you know you will get stiff and it was a couple other girls on the on the same airplane and we all had got this bbl so we were basically doing the same thing you know moved around sat down stood up and then i was watching a movie and by the time the movie was over we was landing so i was just like we here and um i walked around the whole airport before we uh board the plane i didn't need no wheelchair assistance um, I didn't need no type of cart assistance where they drive you to your gate. None of that. I walked around. I went through check-in okay, TSA, good. I was so, I was so good. People didn't know that I had a procedure done until I was on a plane. They seen me standing. But other than that, they were just, you know, they didn't, they, they didn't know. I was just walking around regular. But, you know, like I said, this is days before because my camera died. But I thank y'all for watching, and like I said, comment down below if y'all want to ask me about what went on with my procedure, the doctor again, how was it. If y'all want me to just have a, a Q&A, let me know, and we can do this. But yes, I'm home, I'm healthy, and I'll keep y'all updated on my oncoming, well, on my continuous journey all right so until then peace out